शी इज रनिंग अवे फ्रॉम द राइटर मुझे यहां डर लग रहा है कि ये मर जाएगी आज सो दिस गर्ल हैज गॉन इन द लाइन ऑफ फायर टू डू हर वर्क यू विल सी समर वर्क आई होप टूडे यू विल शो दम ऑफ योर वर्क एंड शी विल टेल हर स्टोरी मेक द मोस्ट ऑफ दिस कॉन्वर्सेशन I'll start with telling you guys a little bit of brief as to whatever I've done till now and where my interest was. So then I'm sure there are some people sitting in the crowd who feel same as me, and then you guys can vision it through. And then I'll go around talking about what were my learnings and some of the hardships that come along with working in an industry like this. Uh, so, like Ma'am said, I think I was that girl with the camera and I'm running around everywhere. So, ever since the age of 13, like I was really into photography. So maybe that. Yeah, I used to do that. I used to take pictures in college, college events, and then uh, you know we had the club as well. So I was very proactive there as well. Uh, and meanwhile, when I started my course here, I came across the language of videos and video editing. uh that's where that's something that i discovered here at bennett post which i started working as a video journalist with the print which i'll also get to how to get a job how did i manage to get there because i graduated in uh, the covid year so that was a hard place to be in honestly speaking and then i went on to freelance for a bit uh then moved uh journeys again and i started working with an ngo called digital green Uh, as a video producer and then right now currently i'm working with unfiltered by samish i guess you guys watch it yeah so i'm working with them as a producer uh the reason why i'm here today is solemn like right now also shruti ma'am and me were talking and i was like ma'am everything that you said back then i thought you were just saying it for the sake of it it all makes sense so i'm just here to like you know tell you guys my journey and actually um uh, help i mean if me sharing my experiences could help you guys you know channel your path better so that that's the goal from my side for today uh let me complete my presentation and then we can be open to questions and you guys can jot down your questions so um visual storytelling right so there are like broadly three parts i would see as uh, which fall under the uh, bracket of visual storytelling telling one is photography like i start i started with photography then i went on to videography and then graphic designing is also something which is you know like you know canva is very active there so you know if you have skills there as well it adds up um okay okay so i'll start with some tips and all of these learnings that i'm telling you it's from my experience from 3 years at college and 3 years of me working as a professional in this industry uh first is consume content in different formats so uh, this is something that like when i started off i used to consume a lot of youtube i used to follow uh, read a lot of magazines which is where my actual interest in photography even started from like when i was in school uh, my dad used to read this magazine called the lonely planet which was my first window to understanding <coughs> visuals and understanding strong compelling photographs right so in today's world we know that there is so much content out there right like even in terms of news like it's not just the big media players now there are so many other small youtubers and fairly big youtubers like dhruv rathi or even like like us unfiltered by sandeesh right so it's i think it's very important to consume content because the way we're delivering content is changing rapidly right so in order to like be up to date it is extremely important that you keep a tab as to what all is there in the market and what is working right if i had to if i had to talk about news because that was something that i was really interested in to be in the visual space for news um if you look at the old old medium of news that was obviously like your tv and you know like anchors coming up and talking but then you see that the medium of uh, news changed with something like unfiltered right where he is actually making jokes and you know through that he is trying to put a word out so i think you have to like consume content and when i say different formats if we talk about being a creative person you can never just be this is what i did initially so i would say ki don't repeat this mistake i was hell bent on photography 
राइट सो आई वॉज लाइक दैट मे को तो सिर्फ फोटोग्राफी करनी है एंड दिस इज समथिंग दैट आई वॉन्ट टू डू दिस इज द काइंड ऑफ कॉन्टेंट दैट आई एम कंज्यूमिंग नॉट रियलाइजिंग दैट दिस इज नॉट हाउ क्रिएटिव वर्क राइट इफ यू लुक एट दीज बिग क्रिएटिव पीपल इवन इफ आई टॉक अबाउट सम बीच टूडे ही इज नॉट जस्ट कंज्यूमिंग वीडियो कॉन्टेंट राइट इन ऑर्डर टू बी क्रिएटिव यू नीड टू चूज डिफरेंट मीडियम सो इट कुड इवन बी समथिंग एज स्मॉल एज आर्ट पेंटिंग्स और म्यूजिक सो फॉर मी ओवर टाइम लाइक आई हैव ड्राइव अ लॉर्ड ऑफ माई क्रिएटिव इंस्परेशन फ्रॉम म्यूजिक बिकॉज दैट समथिंग दैर आई लव एंड यू नो लाइक ऑन माई वे टू वर्क आई एम कंज्यूमिंग म्यूजिक दैट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ कंज्यूमिंग कॉन्टेंट एंड देन ऑन दिस जर्नी ऑफ माइंड आई इवन डिस्कवर्ड पॉडकास्ट एंड दैट समथिंग दैट इंटरेस्ट मी राइट सो यू के नॉट बी यू नो लाइक just just don't look at one thing that oh i am into photography i am going to you know follow photographers or i am into videography i am just going to follow a certain youtuber so just broaden your perspective is all i'm saying in terms of what content that you're consuming uh second is stay relevant with the fast pacing trends so this is i would say for someone who wants to be in the media industry the day that you stop you're not relevant is the day that you are dead i'm not joking right so here i would like to quote an example of shaker sir so i worked with him at the print uh if you look at his journey uh he started his journey where they would actually make stories on typewriters cut to like so many years later now he has a youtube channel and he's making videos on youtube right so if he would have not faced up with the changing trend he would have not been where he is and with ai coming along we know that even 5 years down the line or like say 6 years down the line maybe some of the things that we're learning here in college might completely change right like video editing something as simple as that when i was in college we learned how to cut videos and put them together but now there is a ai tool for that as well right so if you have to be relevant you need to constantly <coughs> upskill yourself that i think that is in like unsaid thing that everyone should do third is of course ai <laughs> that's something that's been making me also personally a little anxious but then <coughs> i gave it some time and i thought about it what should be my relationship with ai and i was having a conversation with my brother which is when and he comes from a tech tech background right so he told me that instead of resisting it try try understanding how can you incorporate it in your work and make your work more efficient right because there has been a lot of chatter around how uh, ai can possibly take over creative fields creative jobs like you know uh, say graphic designing or even photography i mean you look at these new images and the videos that they're creating it's it's changing things rapidly so i think rather than getting like scared from it i would say just try to see how you can use it to your best advantage to like just make your work more um and then comes practice practice your form so if you're interested into photography i think these are great opportunities where in like suppose you're there taking pictures right so i think the more you practice like in terms of videography in terms of photography in terms of graphic designing just keep making things don't stop i think that is something like this is actually the key sauce to like becoming whoever you want to become like you cannot stop create like you should not stop creating what you like right so constantly you know you're here in college make videos collaborate with your classmates and start a podcast start a photography page you know so just just practice right and um, last i would like to also uh, talk about socializing so here i would say use social media to your advantage use linkedin to your advantage when i say you social media to your advantage i mean follow people who you want to be like follow them see their life see what they're up to follow their stories like for example i really look up to these two documentary filmmakers i'm sure you guys know their name uh, rintu thomas and shushmit ghosh they've made writing with fire so you know i think i believe in manifestation so i feel like if you follow them on like instagram check out their stories look what they're up to are they you know like there could be an option that you know they might come across an opportunity that they're looking for an intern or something like that on their social media handles so i suggest that you keep tabs on these people through social media 
and events is another thing like in delhi i'm sure we can like ma'am already said that i was the part of the naughty group so obviously we can we wanted to party but then some we can just try and go for these events right which are happening in delhi there are so many film screenings that happen there are so many photo exhibitions that are happening so i suggest that uh, i think everyone can you know like mark few weekends where there where there is some event that's happening that is something that's in, that interests you uh i would say that it's it's important to go for these meetups as well because you can get to meet like minded people it's a great opportunity to uh you know interact with them and make yourself seen and heard is these are like few tips that i'm just getting into before okay so now i'll get to the learning bit uh these are three companies that i've worked with in these four years three years so the first is the print i'll get to the story eventually as to how i landed the job and uh what i did there exactly but i think this should have come later but i'll i'll still get to it so the first is that um i've always been that person when i'm working at some company i try to look at the positives right there, there are two kinds of people people who are always sulking that ye sahi nahi hai wo sahi nahi hai aisa hai waisa hai and then there's the other kind which will be like he do he's doing this right i want to do this right so uh, my time at the print these are few things that i noted and i saw like i was working very closely with shaker and uh, i don't know if you guys know about his daily show that's called cut the clutter so i used to produce shoot and edit that or uh, during that time i got a lot of like i got a chance to spend like an hour daily with him one on one in his cabin right so then that is a moment where you can read a lot about a person right and then you can pick on to those qualities so the first would be that uh, timeliness right presence of mind i'm sure you guys have gone through your journalism uh, semester if i'm not wrong and i'm sure teachers must have told you that submit your stories deadline 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 and in your head it must be just ki theek hai matlab kahi publish thodi ho raha hai what's the harm i'll send it in another half an hour but no i think you should adhere to that deadline because once you're in the field actually working there every minute counts right i'm sure you guys know how news works it's the first one who gets the story out is the guy right so timeliness is something that's really appreciated in a journalistic setting and presence of mind being a journalist you need to constantly be aware as to you know what is happening where and you need to have this um, sense of zen also if i may say in order to understand what's going around you right second is just ask don't hesitate this is something again that i learned from shaker sir him despite being so old and being at a stage where he is we would come to him and he would not hesitate asking us these silly questions about social media or you know what the new new gen is up to so i think that's something cool right like you should not hesitate in asking questions you might feel that okay this could come across as a dumb question but um, it won't is what i've realized is something there right so just just ask questions and i have already spoken about like don't stop learning which is again shaker i i give you guys the example even at the print besides shaker we had a lot of other senior journalists like jyoti malhotra uh and ruhi tiwari you guys can check them uh their names up uh they've been in the industry for like 10 15 years right but like i said the trends are changing very rapidly and for them they never hesitate asking us questions about these changing dynamics which is why they are relevant so it's all like you know it's all coming together in that sense and uh, this is another soft skill which is that let your aesthetic speak i was uh, telling ma'am that you know like in college like you guys i used to dress up pretty casual to um, classes and stuff and when i went to the print i saw these people around me who know who had their personality talk through their clothes right like it's something as small as you know like my senior at the print he has this fire tattoo of his arm which is like covering half of half of his arm right so i'm just saying that like let your aesthetic speak through the way you talk the way that you walk and i think the way that you dress is something that i picked on at the print so i think definitely uh, that's something that i learned uh, then 
there was a shift in my uh, <coughs> career trajectory. So for a brief while, I worked at the print for one and a half year. And I'll show you some of the work that I did there. Uh, got a chance to cover a lot of uh, uh, bustling news stories like COVID was happening there. The COVID second wave was something that I covered extensively. Uh, the Afghanistan crisis was also happening back then. There were, there were also UP elections, Punjab elections. So I did get a chance to go on field and uh, you know explore all of those um, uh, things that were happening at that point. After that, I freelanced for like six months. I was assisting this uh, documentary filmmaker, her name is Miriam Chandy, she's based out of Bombay and uh, then I freelanced with Digital Green for a documentary and then they offered me a full time role. I thought it would be a creative role but it was a corporate setup. So now again this was something new to me but like I said that you can either be the person who's going to be like ah this is not right, this is not right or you can just pick on to the things that are good as part of your job, right? So with the uh, with the corporate setup comes accountability. So that was one of the biggest things that I learned there. Like people who were senior to me, the reason why they're senior up to me is because they hold this sense of accountability for the work that we're going to deliver, right? So I'll give you a small example. Uh, we had this task of getting like a thousand videos repurposed. And then it got down to like, I don't know, I think probably like 10k videos that had to be repurposed and which is not a brainy task in its sense, but it was a number heavy task, right? Um, which is when I realized my senior, like he took that accountability that, okay, in this much span, I'm going to make sure that we're going to get like these many number of videos repurposed, right? So I think. Uh, if you want to level up, right, like in your roles and stuff, accountability plays a huge role, right? So the higher up you keep going, accountability is something that comes along in, uh, the way. Um, another thing, claim your work, corporate setting. So I think you have to like make sure that this I learned a little later because I'm usually not that kind who would like go around talking about my work that, hey, I, I did this, I did this and look, it's working out. But this is something I realized on my journey that uh, it's important to claim your work sometimes as well and to make sure that your work is seen and heard and it's under your name. Uh, then we have, don't feel scared to ask questions. I think you can see that it's coming on for the second time. So it's something that's extremely important. So don't, don't hesitate in asking questions, right? Like I remember there was this uh, person in, at Digital Green, she was heading the comms there. I just went up to her and I was like, hey, so what does your job exactly entail? This might come off as a dumb question that like you're a colleague and you're asking that person ki what all work do you exactly do because they will give you an overview but I went down to be like, ki, okay, what are your daily tasks, right? So don't hesitate. People will be more than open to like, you know, sharing their experiences and what exactly uh, they do on a daily basis. And then unfiltered, I've just started her. It's been a month. Uh, Sandeesh, as you guys know, I'm sure you guys follow him, he's a very chill guy. So he's that one person who's ready to experiment like crazy. Initially when I joined, I think I was losing it because there were no boundaries. It was just like, go ahead, experiment, right? And I think he's a fun guy, so he also has been teaching me just to have fun in life because that's, I think, the ultimate goal, right, if you look at it. Okay, this is, I think, the most puzzling question in most of us, which is to how to get a job. Because I'm sure many of you are going to graduate soon, you guys are in your fourth, fifth semester. Uh, and these are some learnings. So I'll give you a little bit of background. Now I'll get into the story bit as to what was happening with us. We graduated in 2020, which is when COVID had just hit, right? So it was a very tough space for us to enter the job market because uh, even if we would speak to our professors, the industry situation was such that they were sacking people. So even if a company is hiring someone, they will rehire their old uh, people rather than going for a fresher, right? So the situation was pretty tight, I'm not going to lie. For a year, uh, I think it really puts you down, right? That you know, you're sending emails, no report is coming through, what are you going to do next? So it does come as a shock, 
but then like Nam said I think there's hope because I think if I could make it through I'm sure everyone can and now so the industry situation is also very different but through that one month one year phase of mine where I was trying to get a job these are some things that I realized on my way one is cold emailing you guys, so I'll give you context as to how I got into the print. Uh, they had put up a post on Instagram. They were looking for a video person, and I applied through Instagram, which I'm sure you guys know that it's pretty hard to like get through because many people apply. But uh, cold emailing is one such thing. I mean, I can I can show you guys my email sent wala box from that time. I must have written to almost hundred companies. I'm not joking, like you need to send in emails because sometimes it could be that your emails will not be seen or heard or sometimes they're seen but the role doesn't fit right so there are so many other things that you know like ultimately turns a resume and your email into a job right so cold emailing is one don't be disheartened that I wrote these many emails and I haven't gotten a reward because companies are also like extremely busy with you know their regular functionings and it's not necessary that they have a place open at that very point right so the timing and the there are other like you know things that are there right when it comes to a proper fit for a job role so I would say cold emailing is one even till date uh, that's something that I do people will respond someone will respond in some time so don't hesitate just do that <coughs> uh, like matlab, I think just say that ki be sharmo ki tara Send emails guys, like send it. Just just don't think ki, oh will they see, do they have a placement, da 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 da. Don't. Just just go for it. Send.